On April Fools, a lot of YouTubers like to make a video that's just a joke, but like alcohol, they regret it the next day. So I want to treat it differently by making a video out of the stupidest idea I've ever thought of giving April Fools the respect it deserves. So how do we build a world record poo? When I first thought of this idea, I imagined a giant brown pyramid. Then, because I'm building it on a super flat world, it can be built from Y0 to 320, which is the maximum height. Also on this super flat world, my friends have built an epic, massive mountain range. How would they react if I took a dump on its front lawn? I put data into this pyramid calculator to see how many brown concrete blocks we needed. Nearly half a million. Why am I doing this? Just for some poo joke? Yes, absolutely. So we might as well start trying to collect all the brown concrete powder. Now don't boo me just yet, but the most common way to gather it on super flat is to dupe it with this machine. But I don't really care how we get the concrete powder. I'll turn a blind eye if it means we can pull this prank. Okay, the machine is running, and in the meantime, I built a poo headquarters. It might be suspicious that there's suddenly a random brown storage area, so I blamed it on the server owner. But this is a great example of how oblivious I was to the scale of this project. The storage area I built is stupidly not big enough. So I spent half an hour gathering wood to expand the storage system, which isn't that long, but if it takes me half an hour to just store all the concrete, how long is it gonna take to place? I had to be pretty secretive about my concrete duping, mostly because I don't know how people would react when they find out what I'm doing, but there's almost always someone online, so I would write dumb messages to see if they were paying attention. Yeah, they're totally not suspicious of me. The concrete duper needed me to be actively online though, because once the chest filled up, I'd have to make a couple trips back to the storage area. It'd be a few hours in total, so to pass the time, I played some rounds of chess. There would have been a cool clip of it here, but I was playing the worst chess of my life which is an average day for me. Also, to fill the time, I removed the weird floating structures around the farm, so if you think I'm the bad guy in this video, I did a little good. In total, I took about 25 trips to deposit all the concrete powder. So many trips, in fact, I had it down as a science. Like boom, 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 and then I'm back to the duper. Just like that, we were on to step two, hardening the concrete powder. For the blocks that I used when building the storage system, I hardened the powder by using a three by one hole in water. That's not going to cut it for 400,000 powder. It's not fast and will break pickaxes. But I snuck into the mountains, you know, the one we're going to troll, which conveniently inside was a machine machine that could convert powder faster. This is like using the library computers to upload a bad review of the library, or using school computers to write a manifesto. I didn't want others to know I was the one using the powder converter, so I tried to learn how to operate it just by using online tutorials. It wasn't working to its full speed, but that's fine as long as nobody knew I was the one using the machine. The only witness was a creeper on top who I should have silenced. Frick, 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 Ryan, help! So he helped me build the machine, but was also incredibly curious. What, are, what is all the brown uh, concrete gonna be for? From, this is not mine, this is Mog Swamp's actually. Oh, is this for his uh, skyscraper build? Yeah, I'm just doing him a favor. Ah. That lie was very short-sighted. Like, Mog Swamp doesn't even use brown concrete for his skyscraper, but it got Ryan off my back. He also revealed that the slower rates I was getting for the machine was standard. So I figured I'd be placing the concrete powder into the machine for 20 hours. So I spent the last few hours of the day doing prep work, expanding the storage so I could let the machine run for longer. The output is organized. The input is an absolute disaster, but it's enough to where I can run the machine while I'm asleep. In the morning, I woke up to some great progress. The chests I filled were nearly empty. In total, we converted 300,000 powder. We still have more to convert back at the storage system, but I decided to use the concrete I have now to start the pyramid. This is when I realized I got myself into a huge project. My brain couldn't comprehend how big a 639 by 639 block base would be, and I still can't because it's so big it goes out of my render distance. But this makes the prank so much better. I timed how long it took to build layer 3, which in total was 15 minutes. A quarter of an hour isn't that long, but that roughly means 40 hours of work. We need something to speed it up. See, the problem is I'm walking backwards, which first is slow, and second I can get misaligned easily and will miss blocks. So I used some different technology. As you see, for layer 5, I could run forward and blocks would place, because I used a schematic. This is another mod that gives us outlines of the build you want to make, that basically gives you faster clicks 
clicking to place the concrete. But this pyramid is so huge, it even took time making it in creative mode. I ran a command, but that froze my game. Then when trying to save the schematic, my computer couldn't handle it and crashed. But we got it in the world so we could speed up our placing. I placed blocks for hours that day. The only thing keeping me going was knowing each layer is eight blocks less than the last. So I was thinking to myself, the amount of layers we get done would go exponentially like this. In reality, at the end of the day, it's 50 blocks tall out of 316. I just gotta keep thinking how cool it's gonna look when finished. My computer once again ran all night, converting the last of my powder into solid blocks, and I cooked up a game-changing strategy. See, at the start of the server, the owner gave me admin powers, because why? I said it would be funny. But it comes with one stipulation. I'm not allowed to add anyone to the server. So I added someone to the server. I bought my friend a new account under the name Yeya Jaren, hoping that if someone looked to see who was online, they wouldn't notice the duplicate. So I got Colin set up with items and informed him on the optimal dump taking strategy. We're building at twice the speed and even a little faster because Colin accidentally found a setting that allows you to sprint jump while placing. This was a great morale booster, just having someone else here to suffer with you because I haven't logged off the server for 72 hours. We started hitting milestones like it taking two rockets to reach the top and it being higher than the mountain. But today was Friday, Flatline Friday, which meant people started streaming on this server. Look at that, <laughs> that looks ridiculous. He's still online, he's online twice. He's getting twice as much done. Wait, okay, it is a pyramid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Wait, does he just have a, a bot just placing blocks for him? <laughs> right, I, wanna try and, I, wanna, I wanna try and see if I can see him without him seeing me. Oh, is that? But other people flying in to check out what was going on helped remove the monotony of... Our routine was basically build for an hour, chaos, repeat. But that didn't mean we weren't getting a little crazy. Like, going through these clips, what are we talking about? Where was Java Moss when we needed it? But out of seemingly nowhere, I snapped. I've been doing this six hours straight. I freaking need a break. Oh my goodness. I'll be back in like 30 minutes. That did put us further behind, but you know, it was nice not thinking about poop for half an hour. So what kept us going the rest of the night was watching the game show Jeopardy. Yes, I felt like, for lack of a better term, crap, but... Hazy or unspecific. Vague! Vague! Ryan. What is vague? It started with one episode, but then we ended up watching the entire 2019 teen tournament, so the last three hours went by in a flash. The pyramid wasn't complete, but that's because I ran out of concrete powder. Dude, this thing is ginormous! Look how much stuff we've yeah. gotten done! And it still has more to go. So at 11 p.m. we duped some more and I left the powder converter running so in the morning we could complete the pyramid. 6 a.m. we were up again to finish this prank. By this point we had lost all care. Okay, we placed every single block in this pyramid but sleeping to make it daytime was annoying so now nighttime no longer exists. I was using a free cam to get really cool shots of me building but I messed up the controls and ended up losing my wings. Now I could delay the pyramid being built by an hour to get another pair or abuse my admin powers. Sharon, that's cheating. Well, yeah, it is, but who cares? So I bunkered down to get this prank done. Layers started flashing by, getting quicker and quicker, so all of a sudden, we were at the top. I'll let you do the last block if you want, so I get a shot of it. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah! April Fool's! Uh, uh, you guys got so pranked! Uh, it's so much! Uh, <laughs>